Time now for another episode of Farrell's Bluff. My name is Wayne Farrell, here to show you my new shower. It's from Echo Temp, and it's a hot shower. Uses a propane uh, bottle, 20 pound cylinder there. Uh, the green hose is water going in, the white hose goes to the shower head, the black hose uh, connects to the gas tank, and you can see the two knobs for the gas regulator and water regulator. You have to have about 20, 25 uh, PSI of water. So you come around here to the shower head, and the black knob there, switch, turns the water on, and it'll be cold at first, that's cold. Turn the switch on, you hear it click and then light off, and it's hot water on demand. Now is that wonderful? <laughs> I'm spoiled. Clean as a whistle out here because I'm taking showers all the time. So all right, I lather it up and I need to, uh, I won't waste water while I'm lathering. So I'm ready to rinse off and you can hear it light off again. The fire actually goes out when you turn it off and you'll hear it click and light again. Isn't it wonderful? You know, if you uh, use the, uh, the hot water heater, electric hot water heater in the uh, travel trailer, you turn it on, of course, uh, using the battery uh, and gas, uh, and then it takes about a half hour before it's ready. But this is instant and it's wonderful. I've talked to the Echo Temp people uh, and they were real helpful. I was just asking about leaving it outside and everything. Now, I've been using gravity feed water, but for this you have to have pressure water. And I uh, installed this pressure tank so the travel trailer would have water on demand. And then I realized, hey, that shower I bought will work out here. So, if you're interested in talking about it or want to set up something like this for your primitive river place, not, using, uh, not having to get the permits to get electricity and all that, give me a call, 813 352-5011. And we'll see you next time at Farrell's Bluff.